Joe Matthews uh, starting his 10th season as the head coach of the, the Towson Tigers. Joe, uh, pretty good improvement last year. You go from nine to, to 16 victories. Yeah, we, we were pleased. Uh, we felt like we left some things out there, actually, though, but we were pleased with the improvement as always. We, last six years, we've had five winning seasons, so the nine-win year was kind of a rebuilding year for us, mm -hmm. and hopefully we continue to move forward with the young group this year. Where do you go from there? Well, hopefully to the top four in the league is the ultimate prize for us and get to be able to compete in a championship level in the CAA. It's such a great conference. It's so competitive night in, night out. And, you know, for us, it's, it, that's the next step. It's, it's got to be championships. I feel like that we have accomplished a lot of things in, in, in the time that we've been here and uh, under Mike Weldell's leadership and a, a commitment to women's basketball. It's time for us to take one more big, gigantic step, and hopefully this group will be the ones that help us go that way. Coach, you and I had spoken. I thought something you said was really interesting. You said you have no goals right now. And I think as a player, you know, you come in, your coach gives you these big, lofty goals, and then you get nervous. You're like, God, you know, we got to get to these. And you said you're just taking it day by day this year. Yeah, we are. We're, again, we're, we're very youthful. Uh, we have one senior, two juniors, and, and nine freshmen and sophomores. And uh, so for us, it's literally, it's, it's trying to trying to improve every single solitary day and see where we go from there. There's some things I feel like we can accomplish, we want to accomplish, and, and we will have goals in the future for sure. But right now, it's really about trying to get better every day. Is Nairi Williams uh, your, your go-to player for the most part? Yeah, she needs to be. You know, she, she transferred in from North Carolina, set out the year prior to last year. Uh, got through the first 10 games, and if you go through a transfer like that, you're really just trying to get acclimated, get your rhythm back. And, and by the time she did that, unfortunately, she broke her hand at Georgia State, missed three games, was supposed to have surgery. Um, after watching us play without her, she decided to postpone the surgery. And so she played the rest of the year, and but her production was limited. And she goes right. from a double-double kid to someone averaging 1.1 rebounds. So we need to get her back to the double-double status that but, she's capable of doing. But while she's not able to produce that much, that's got to send a strong message out to the rest of the team about it. You know, somebody's willing to postpone a surgery to help this team. I mean, that really – you got to feel good about that kind of player. Absolutely, and she's a captain for a reason, and she accepts that responsibility and that role. And you know, no one asked her to do that. You know, it was simply something she chose to do. And I think it speaks volumes to the character and what she believes, mm -hmm. what she wants this program to become. And she is the leader of the program right now, and the face of the program. So she takes that responsibility and, and uh, does a wonderful job for us. You said you had nine underclassmen. It was. How has it been at practice having such a young squad? Have, have people been responding, or do you feel like you're going a little slower than usual, or? Very slow. Very slow. <laughs> Very slow. Um, it, it's all positive, though. Yeah. You know, I, I think in some situations, if we had six seniors or five seniors or additional six or seven upperclassmen joining that, that group, uh, they may feel like you're going really slow. For us to have one senior, two juniors, and rest underclassmen, they all kind of feel the same way to some degree. I think there's a little bit where Tanisha McTiller and Irene Williams wants it to go and pick up, but they understand that we can't go until everyone's ready. And uh, But I, I like what I see. I see improvement every day. Uh, you, you see the light bulb go off every now and then, and they start mm -hmm. to get it. Uh, there's going to be setbacks, but it's how we handle that that's what's going to really propel this team. You know, if you take a look at your roster with only the one senior, and you throw in the intangible, and it's a big intangible, the new arena that you've got opening up next season, 5,200 seats, uh, state-of-the-art, luxury suites. Uh, that's a nice selling point for this program. W without a doubt. You know, so, so some of this is intentional in terms of the class distribution uh -huh. for these things. And, uh, but it's going to be a wonderful place, Tiger Arena. It's, it's, it's great to see it every day. And for me, that's been here so long, and, and to be through the blueprints from 10 years ago, what right. we hoped would happen, and to finally see what's really happening, is it, it's encouraging and inspiring every day. And to know what we're going to be the home for Tiger basketball for the, for the future to come. And have, have you noticed a buzz? Yeah, absolutely. There, there's more and more happening, and we haven't. When you get an opportunity to really play in it, practice in it, bring someone to see a finished product, mm -hmm. I think the buzz will, will jump tenfold. Yeah. Right now, it's just excitement about a new place, a new venue, and you can see it from the outskirts. But until you get an opportunity to walk people through it and, and, and really experience it and play in it, I think that's when you really see the magnitude of it. And you had said that you're going to use your out-of-conference schedule as a big test for what, what you'll see in the CAA. I know you have Maryland on there. And how, how important is for you to get teams like that just to, to test because the CAA is such a strong conference now? It is. I mean, we're still at a point where every year is a little bit different the way we schedule non-conference. And uh, there's some seasons we go really, really heavy. Uh, when we think that we have a chance to really make some noise. Uh, this group, it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, we, we got some real tests in there, but at the same time, we got some games that hopefully that uh, if we play at the highest level, we're going to be competitive in and, and be able to win and, and build some confidence. And I think that's the biggest thing for us right now is really to see how we progress day by day. 
You're pick ninth. Do you feel like you're a ninth place team, or do you feel like you're going to shock the people who made the prediction? You know, it's it's uh, polls are polls, and everyone yeah, yeah, everyone says the worth. same thing. But no, I think there's some real uh, there's some value to it. Uh, I, I think there's a reason why you're picked there. Um, no one knows your team. No one's at your practice. Uh, right. No one knows your kids better than you. And, and more importantly, no one knows it better than them. So no matter what I say to them, they're going to know it, they're going to feel it, and they're going to respond to it. And uh, we got to make sure it responds positively. Yeah, and I was just going to say, you know, I think having such a young team, people can sometimes say, oh, that might not be good. But a lot of the young girls are normally fearless. So it, Absolutely, and that's what we feel right now. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's, it's a practice environment where I continue to tell my staff, don't tell them what they can't do. Right. Make sure you yeah. tell them what they can do yeah. and, and uh, feed off of that. And, you know, sometimes the naiveness can be good. And uh, we're, we're going to ride that as long as we can. Well, I just want to congratulate you for being one of the smartest coaches in the conference. I told you earlier you hired a Northeastern alum on your staff. So good for you. You're, you're moving up in life, I say. You've got a lot of good things going on at Towson. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank Go, you. Good luck to you this Appreciate year. Appreciate it. Thanks.